Catholic Mass Readings and Reflections. July 16, 2023. First Reading. Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to him who sows and bread to him who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. Responsorial Song The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Second Reading Romans Chapter 8 Verses 18 to 23 Brothers and Sisters I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God, for creation was made subject to futility. Not of its own accord but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now, and not only that. But we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption the redemption of our bodies. Gospel The Parable of the Sower Matthew chapter 13 Verses 1 to 9 er Chapter 13 Verses 1 to 23 On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil, and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Reflection Bringing the word to a bountiful harvest. Sowing the word is an enterprise that God himself undertakes. But we have to provide the good soil for the seed to grow to maturity and bear fruit aplenty. How does this work in our life as Catholics? Besides reading the Bible, the Catholic is exposed to the Word of God present in the liturgy. The first half of the Holy Mass, the Liturgy of the Word, is enriched by the first and second readings, the Responsorial Psalm, and the Gospel. The Word of God is then expounded in the homily. In addition, the Catholic who prays the Rosary is also exposed to the Word by the repetition of the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Mary, and by the mysteries being meditated on. This exposure to the Word is an act of sowing. When the Word is sown, it cannot be left on its own, lest it perishes. It must be meditated upon by its receiver. 
We cannot just hear Mass. We ought to let the Word of God speak to us. The same is true of the Rosary. We do not merely recite the words. We allow the lessons of each mystery to speak to us of humility, service, piety, and other virtues. Thus, the Word is cultivated. The delight of meditation further brings us to contemplation wherein we appreciate the goodness of God and allow ourselves to unite with Him in love. Here, the Word blossoms into flowers. Finally, the prayer process is transformed into action. The Word comes alive as God adorns a person's soul with a harvest of virtues acquired from meaningful encounter with the Word. A person becomes humble and charitable and is able to perform good works because he is inspired by the grace of God. The Word produces a bountiful harvest in the life of a person. The effectivity of God's word is assured by the prophet Isaiah in the first reading. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The readings for this Sunday are an invitation for us to become nurturing seedbeds and fields for sowing and cultivating the word of God.